Welcome to Nick's Noob. In this video, I'm going to show you how to scan for viruses on Linux using ClamAV. Um, ClamAV is a really nice, easy to use virus scanner for Linux. Um, and you may be thinking that on Linux, you don't need to worry about viruses. And that's partially true on Linux. Uh, any, you know, executable that's downloaded isn't going to be executable by default. And also it's only going to be able to affect, you know, um, things that your user has permissions for, you know, uh, so it can't do as much damage, but you still need to scan for viruses, um, especially if you're going to send files, you know, to someone else, yeah, to your Windows friends, you don't want to infect your Windows friends with a virus. Um, so ClamAV is a really easy way to do that, and I'm going to fire up a terminal here. Well, first, let me just go to a directory and downloads and here's a font directory that we're going to scan for viruses um, and i'm going to open up a terminal and zoom way in first thing we need to do is install clam av and that is just sudo app uh, sudo app dash get install clam av and i already have it installed And just by the way, if, if you weren't sure, uh, if you want to search apt-get from the command line, you can do a, a sudo apt-cache instead of get, apt-cache, um, and then search, and let's just do clam. And that has a bunch of results. We can pipe that into a pager like less. And now we can page through the results and also search the results by hitting dash and just type in clam. And that's going to highlight everywhere there's clamp. But anyway, we can see the clam AV is what we want. And I already did an app get install. I'm going to queue to get out of less. And then another way to install it would be Synaptic. And I highly recommend Synaptic. Um, open that real quick. So at Synaptic, we would just search for clam. And we can see that we already have it installed. Um, but I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see that. There we go. So you can see we've got clam AV, clam base. When you install clam AV, it installs like fresh clam and clam D scan automatically. Okay, so how do we use clam? One, we have to keep it up to date. And to update it, we just do a sudo fresh clam. And I've recently updated it so it didn't download anything, but normally that would download any new virus definitions and update it. And so I'm just going to exit out of this. All right, so we're here and we want to scan. Let's just scan one folder here. Uh, let's scan Henny Penny. Create new folder. Actually, I'll go into, yeah, no, I'll do the Barrio. Um, let's open a terminal here and zoom in. All right, so we can see that. So I'm just going to say clam scan Barrio. And so that's going to load the virus definitions. It takes it takes it a minute to do that and then it will scan that file and the scan is actually pretty quick and that's basically it you just clam scan the thing you want to scan if you wanted to scan a folder um, let me go up directory here well, actually, we have open source, and this has got a bunch of zip files and uh, folders in it. So to do a, a full directory and any directories inside it rec recursively, you just do uh, clamscan-r for recursive, and then the name of the folder. Again, it's going to load the definitions, which takes it a minute, but then you'll see it's, it's pretty fast scanning all the files.
And so now it's scanning everything. I'll make this big so we can see it. And then it'll give us a summary when it's done. And so this is also scanning, scanning the zips as well as the extracted files. And there we go. So it scanned 503 files in 73 directories and it found zero infected files. Um, and that's, that's basically it. Now I can send any of these fonts to my Windows friends and not worry about, uh, you know, accidentally giving them a virus. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, subscribe so you don't miss future content and give me a like. That really helps me out on, on YouTube. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll try to get to them as quick as I can. And thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.